Welcome back to another behind the scenes of uh, our film production class for Gavin College. Of course, this we're looking at, there's our actors, we're, uh, w this is the behind the scenes for the film CAPTCHA, which was recorded, what was the date? <laughs> I always forget to look these up and always regret not looking up these up, but March 15th, Friday, March 15th, we spent a day filming. Oh, and look who's that good looking guy in the red with the glasses and the bad haircut. That's me with the soul patch. Check out that soul patch. Uh, but we're looking at the monitor right now. We're seeing this is a close up. I wrote, directed this piece uh, starring three different actors, and it's a film noir slash sci-fi. We can see that uh, we started with two of the actors. The third one's supposed to be on the gurney. We start with the close-ups because our third actor didn't show up until about three hours or two hours into the shoot. You can see that this location has been used on other shoots at uh, Gavin College so far. This is our nurse's lab uh here we can see ashton uh they're manning the audio jason right there in the blue is our ad you can see grants there to assist but i'm directing uh right there in the red and the director's role of course uh is to work primarily with the actors you do all the planning you plan all the shots uh we can see also in red there's marty who's our dp we have our first AD, Daniel. Okay, we're checking out our audio levels, making sure that we're recording. There, yep, oh, see, those are our waveforms. We're watching them bounce, we're controlling. All right, and we can see Noah is holding our boom pole right there, our boom operator. And uh, Geronimo's playing on his phone, it looks like. We have a stand-in. Alex right there is our stand-in uh, with the orange hat. And we can see our close-up right here. Andre is our actor. He's playing uh, a character named Marv, who's kind of the heavy. Turns out he's this big buff guy who turns out to be the computer nerd. essentially dressed him how I dressed. <laughs> Sophie is playing our femme fatale slash uh, mine thief. You can see the uh, Grant is our uh, a gaffer. He's controlling the light, helping us light the scene. We're not shooting light directly on their face. We're bouncing light uh, to make it seem like it's actual light that would be there. And uh, you can see I'm working with every element to get exactly what I want. Once we get our action, we're moving to do the close-ups of Sophie. You can see how many people are inside. And what's great about working, this is at Gavlin College. Of course, this is the nurses training unit. Uh, many rooms with dummies and it looks really good opportunity. So if you're writing something, and you know you need a doctor's office, we have the location. Make it easy to set it up. Grant's pulling out different microphones for our different people. Talking about how a lav those are lavalier microphones. Geronimo's plugging in the um, receiver. Grant's working with the transmitter. Uh, there's a big uh, discussion on set whether they're called lavalier microphones or lavalier microphones. And uh, just like Will Shatner, I say lav. That's a reference. The, William Shatner, uh, of course, Captain Kirk. Uh, someone told him the way he says sabotage, he said sabotage. Uh, and someone's like, oh, it's sabotage. And he's like, I don't say sabotage, I say sabotage. 
again, you can see the more microphones we have, the more inputs we're getting. Lots of setting up our audio so that we can record the audio. I'm in the process of editing it as well, so very interesting. We can see how many people are on set, a whole crew. This is probably, I believe we started at 2 p.m. set up and got everything in process. We can see the different people monitoring audio. This is going to be my least favorite behind the scenes because I'm going to be f in it way more than I usually am, just having to be on camera. I have to say, like, what's fun about the uh, behind the scenes also when you are the subject of the behind the scenes, you can really understand how, like, reality television functions, right? Like, uh, like we're talking about Shrek, of course. This is, like, while we're waiting for whatever we're waiting for, we're talking about Shrek. Um, and then yep. you can rake in the Puss in Boots because they're technically in the universe. Last Wish is the best movie. Last Wish is better than three. Yeah. Uh, Last Wish is. But not better than any of the other It's tracks. not better than Shrek 2, but it is very good. Uh, for me, if you're adding the Puss in Boots movie, it's two and Last Wish one. Wrong. <laughs> so Wrong. how many times have you guys studied Shrek? Again, I'm a Shrek expert. I'm a Shrek expert. Oh, dang, I just said it. Uh, yes, so anytime we can talk about Shrek. And I apologize to Grant because uh, and he's heard me talk about Shrek a lot, and Shrek Grant's not a big Shrekophile like I am. We can see that with the monitor. Really, I should be <laughs> standing looking at the monitor, but I think I'm standing behind the camera looking at the monitor on the camera. Maybe I'm just watching performance. Sophie there, Sophie Warren, of course, is one of the uh, senior students in our project, uh, in our class, uh, and is so talented. And oh, you can see the monitor. There's a touch screen. Uh, you can zoom in and see a little bit of elements. Um, tell me you dick. Tell me you dick. Um, uh, Sophie's very talented. She's a seven-time Gavi Award winner. Uh, so that's a lot of Gavis. Uh, and, of course, the Gavis are our awards that we give out for Best Student Films. And we have about nine different categories. We're getting ready to hand out the Gavis this year from uh, uh, April 20th in the theater. So if you have the opportunity to attend massive extra credit for coming and supporting other students and this film will be featured at the Gabby's and maybe Sophie will be nominated and or win for her performance in this but I will spoil it right now this movie will not win best director because Grant and I are ineligible to win an a Gabby award
So the reason we have our stand-in body there, which you can see, is just to help maintain eyeline for all the actors. Probably adjust the light there. She looks a little hot in the the monitor, and hot means a lot of light level. Neuro lock. Where did you live as a kid? Tell me what it is. Tell me, you dick. Tell me, you dick. That was a fun moment on set that we were given a hard time. Oh, also shout out to my orange Crocs, peach colored Crocs I'm wearing. Please, behind the scene people, when you're filming behind the scene, do not zoom in on feet ever. I'm gonna say that right now. I'm an anti-foot person, so here we go. We get some more F8. The F8 is our audio mixer. The audio mixer allows for multiple inputs. Hey, those of you at home that made it this far, that'll be today's extra credit opportunity. You're gonna message me and tell me what is the name of the audio mixer, which is the F8, uh, and what is it, the point of it? And the point of it is to record our audio and has the opportunity to uh, uh, record multiple inputs. I believe the F8 is called the F8 because there's eight possible inputs you can record into it. So you could have eight different microphone sources. We can see though there, there's four on that monitor. I think you toggle over for more. You can see all three of the audios bumping right there. Looks like they're only rec oh, they're recording all three. That's good. Who wants to do a job for me? Who wants to do a job for me? We're doing some. Uh, we're adjusting this. This is. Grant is setting up a bigger tripod, which you may know uh, or have noticed. But this tripod is a heavier, dutier one because they're setting up a piece of equipment called the jib. The jib is basically an arm that you can put the camera at the end and it allows you to do an upward motion a left and right motion but it allows you to get some verticality and some different type of movement uh and with fluidity so we don't want it to go up we just there's geronimo look at geronimo wearing yeezys yeah so there's an oil pod that we here so um grant really wants that oil so he wants to start another feature no he's just wanting to make another feature all the money's going to the feature we can see that uh, we have three jib shots in this movie, so each time setting up takes a good 15 minute downtime in between. So it's good. Our actors get a break. We're going to set up the shot, and we're really waiting for our third actor, Bruce, to show up. And Bruce is pretty fun. There's the jib. You can see uh, it's like a lever or a teeter totter. Think of it that way. You know what? Guess what, everybody? I, just to make sure you're still listening, I'm canceling the last extra credit opportunity. So if you already wrote me, too bad. Uh, this is your real extra credit opportunity. <laughs> opportunity. Tell me what the jib is. What does it do? What's the point? How long it takes to be set up? Uh, why would you use a jib versus just a normal tripod? 
and we'll learn all that moving forward. This is a real test to see, oh, I turned off <laughs> the behind the scenes the second I found out what the extra credit was. Sorry to trick you all, but this is my little test. As you can see, the jib is, um, Grant is uh, putting it in and then he's, you know, he's threading the screw so that it connects the jib uh, tripod to the jib arm. We call it a jib arm. And you could see what's notable is we're going to put the camera one on one end and then we put weights on the other to counterbalance it. Need multiple people to set up the jib and operate the jib just because um, it's heavy duty. All right, you can see now we're going to put a, a tripod head at the end of the jib. Grant's using his keys to tighten the screw. Who's the first AC? Of course, Daniel was the first AC. Assistant camera, that's what that uh, stands for. With the AC, is going to be in charge of doing lens swaps, battery swaps, uh, handling the camera for our DP. You can see that we're uh, putting on weights, trying to counterbalance, see if we have enough weights. These are like weight room weights that we have increments of 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, I see in the background in red is uh, Bruce has showed up. They're discussing what the movement is. That would be great. That would be, I mean, if the camera is here and then it simply rises up, that's a way more interesting shot. Yeah, that, that's what we talked about during. So oh, yeah. what, what we would do is the camera would. <laughs> that's um, a way more interesting shot, but that's not the shot I wanted. And that's not what we end up doing. So uh, no, the point of the shot is to show his hand is tied. Um, but whatever. Again, that's why you're the director and you have the vision and hopefully my shot to uh Here, I am to tell them, ruin their thoughts on what the shot should be versus what the shot I wanted. Is it? Let's see. Now, Grant having said that and seeing it behind the scenes has got me doubting my shot. There's Bruce with the thing on his head. We also, when it gets close, we'll get it. Um. Okay. <clears throat> this is the jib shot, right? Yes. Okay, so we don't need Mike on this one. Okay. Okay. This is the jib shot, right? What do you think? <laughs> good, good job noticing it, Tim. No, I I was thinking about if we need, need to have a mic or not. Yeah, they're trying to balance the jib by putting weights on it, making sure that uh, it has enough weights to counterbalance so that you don't have to constantly be holding it. Grant's holding it so it doesn't fall. So they're in that case right there. Well, actually, in that case right there, there's a. Um, 
Okay. MOS, of course, means meet out sound. Uh, that's when we're not recording audio. This, of course, is going to be one of the shots we have. We have uh, voiceover. All right, Sophie right there is applying blood. Blood is a big important part. Bloody noses are an element of the movie. He's getting brain hacked. <laughs> we can see his nose looks really gross, uh, but I love it. This is the type of stuff that I love to write and think about. Um, so the premise, of course, is he's a guy who's having his brain hacked, and we think it's a film noir detective where he's getting beat up or being seduced and then he ends up actually just like they're in his brain trying to get his code to his bank account. Um, You can see there's the jib operating. Starting low and going up, essentially our focus is changing. It's going from his hand, which is tied to the bed right there with the zip tie, up to his face for revealing his bloody nose. I do this because we have voiceover that happens throughout the piece, and it's kind of a way to explain the voiceover. There's the red camera, of course. You can see in Jason's hand, he's wearing the blue. He's holding the follow focus. There goes the jib going up. Jason is controlling the follow focus, which changes the focus of the camera. The monitor's touchscreen, so they're trying to figure out yeah. elements there. <laughs> We've set up now that the camera's back on the tripod off of 
widescreen and we're looking at the white shot, I believe. simulation with an intake. He's not holding out yet. We just need one more. He gave us the first two pretty easily. I can get the last one out again. Start it up again! He's not going to be able to take it. Just do it! I'll get his money. What do we need to know this time? Uh, his final reminder code is his childhood address. That's how you get a workout. Oh, what the oh, fuck? shit. His brain can't take it. He's going to neural lock. Quick sedate him! Good take, give him some notes. I realized, oh, I should stand and look at the monitor. You can see it's a three shot right there in the camera. Zoom. The F8 there recording three different channels of audio. Shit, his brain can't take it. He's going to neural lock. Quick sedate him. Where do you live as a kid? What's the address? Tell me, you dick! Cool angle where we can see different things. Oh, you can do that? <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt it. Oh, God, I'd like seizing. I have the opposite. Somebody, can you lean in for focus? Muscle. You got the Steve Jobs and Pet Boy shirt on. Uh, you do? Yeah. I, hey, yeah, I told you. Yeah. yeah. Hall of Fame. Final reminder code. Is that's not true at all. That's what you say. You say Timmy Warrior. 
Okay, be quiet. Yeah, well, I'm gonna say. <laughs> All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bruce, can you do a mic pe- check for us? Microphone yeah. check, yeah. microphone check. Yeah. You can't see what I can see. You're blind, baby. You're distracted. You're blind. Yeah, we're not getting anything from Bruce's uh, lab. Okay. Lab. Let's uh, let's lab. check. Make sure it's got audio uh, power. It's on. Can you just check the making the batteries. Microphone. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys on check battery too? Can you check his? We're checking the microphone's batteries. We're having microphone issues, it seems like. He took Andre's. Yeah, something. Where it's like, because he switched, <laughs> we had to come back and do something. I'll take, I'll take it. Uh, I don't think that's I don't, No, no, I no, think it was just off. off. Oh, I get it. Is okay. It, off? it was just off. Okay. Now it's this off. part was off. Oh, so we want okay. to make yeah, sure that that green light is on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I hear the switch. I didn't think that would turn it on. Okay. Yeah, I I was getting uh, boom. Yeah, now it's off. Is it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be? I think it's. Even though I had. I mean, when you turn it on, the green light turns on. on, It's off now. (laughs) Yeah. So we need a new one. No, we need to. um, It's probably dead. BTS. uh, Maybe they don't know they're on. Uh, Oh, there we go. I think the sound he got was through the boom. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it was definitely through boom. Actually, the next one was through. It was also uh, through uh, figuring out what's so going on. Sophie's level here, because when he was talking, right. hers was going up as well. Bring me that power strip. doing a close-up of Sophie now. <coughs> Sophie, in this close-up, used uh, fake blood to come out of her nose, and uh, it was a good learning experience for her because she had been putting fake blood on everybody else and accidentally went down her at the back of her throat. So I think our first take is messed up because uh, the fake blood goes hey. down her nose, down her throat. There sh- we can see her applying the fake blood. You can hear that in her voice. Okay, cut. Didn't read enough for me, Sophie. No, I think um, it went down the back of yeah, my throat. Yeah, that's what I also found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, it went down the back of her throat. It's all good. I'll just do another one. Okay, here's my question. What if it's on your finger? Damn, why does it feel so hot? Okay, yeah, it looks good now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, roll audio. Speed. Roll camera. Yeah, just go, just go. We can play this. Speed. Speed. Okay. Set. Action. Damn, why is it so hot? 
great cut. Let's do it, roll it one more time while it's still dripping. <laughs> it looks cool, it looks really cool. Okay. We'll tail flick this one. Tail flick this one, let's roll. Well, audience. Me. Wilkins. Speed. And action. Damn. This is so hot in here. Looks cool. Moving. We're good. we're cleaning and going. Yeah, All right. Now we're wrapped on this location. We're moving to the next one. There's a. There's a. <laughs> uh, uh, dummy. Yeah. All right. So now we're in the TV studio. Looks like people are eating pizza. But look, we've set up our jib. We're going to do another jib shot here. All right, now we're shooting Andre. We actually decided against uh, setting up the jib first because Andre had a time commitment um, to leave. So we're going to shoot all of Andre's stuff so we can get him out of there by 6 p.m. that day. Really cool close-up. Looking like a total B.A. B.A. stands for badass. Uh, I yet again tied Bruce to the chair, which was fun because his hands were stuck and movie magic. Hey, are you still attached to AC? I am. Hey, did you want our live? Did you want our mics on? Okay. Is that fine? Yeah. yeah. Right. Did you want our mic? Uh, not for this shot. It's MOS. So I uh, just want you to do the line so he can react. Okay. Okay. Start with you, Norma. Uh, you did it. Huh. There you are. We thought we lost you for a second. We wasn't like that. We. Can I get punched here? Yeah, um, punch. Oh, is this? I yeah. yeah. Isn't punch. there another line first? What can I do for you, or something like that? Yeah. Oh, we, and then yeah, Philip. You said, "Oh, we. Who's your friend? What can I do?" Who's your friend? What can I do for you? Do you know what Mars and I were just talking about? It's the same thing. His last name. It's the same as yours. Lamont. Oh, so you are a Bates too, huh? <laughs> Your mom, the one she had before she met your damn dad and lived in the state that is you. Wait, wait, what's going on? Why am I being grilled here? Look, if you're trying to get something out of me, you gotta, you gotta tell a guy what you want before beating him senseless. <laughs> Probably wouldn't tell you. You can see the actors reacting just I so Andre, cold. who's the close-up on, can react to their uh, poor old Mrs. Johansson. Their faces. Like it <laughs> Great to know. Got it. You can see we're doing some punching, and we, you know, they don't actually have to this punch each other because it's movie magic. We're gonna use angles and sound effects to make it sound awesome. No, I here. like you going out yeah, of okay. frame. That's great. Cool. We're going to do a whole different angle anyway. So like I, I like his calling Marty Flo for friends as he's 
Yeah, you can flow, not for the punches, but. Yeah. Well, he's like kind of wavering back and forth. Mm. Yeah. Just, I knew you were like trying not to show the top of the. Cigarette position for the camera. That was all cool. I, yeah, you look, you look really mean. And on action, where's that first bit? I'm happy with this. Yeah, yeah. I, I would tilt down a little bit though. His eyes in the third, not as we can lose the hat. Uh, um, after Norma says her first line, you space and then say E. Okay, so I'm waking up while she's. Yeah, you're waking up. Right. Okay. Even though you're like waking up, you're a cool customer. Uh, for okay. Tilt the hat a little bit more, Andre. Give me a little bit. Let me just see what it looks like. No, not the other way, actually. Sorry, just one second. I'll tell you. I'm waiting. Yeah, you look cool. That's awesome. Okay. Great. All right, let's go. Fun fact is that clock does not work, which is a little hint to things aren't quite what they seem in this uh, feature. At least that's how I coped. What's interesting, too, about this image is it looks really cool in uh, color, but uh, I'm going to be changing all of this into black and white. We're really making it look like and feel like an old film noir. Film noir, of course, is the genre that is best described as like a detective, hard-boiled um, scene. It usually involves a hard-boiled main character who is trying to figure something out. Uh, the, a female femme fatale, which is usually a female character who turns out to be bad and uh think of uh maltese falcon or uh boom punching my mom had soft hands my mom had soft hands that was uh, a line i wrote <laughs> something out of this other guy, you gotta let him know what you want before you beat him senseless. <laughs> I probably wouldn't tell you, but it'd be nice to know why you're coming cold. <laughs> and I know my dear old mama, poor old Mrs. Johansson wouldn't like it either. Moving on. Great. Love it. Alright. More punching now. Yeah, okay. We're gonna cheat this. So the OTX is hundred percent. Here's the guy that's going up against the chair. We're in the shot of Edward trying to get uh, get into something. Don't move up? Yeah, we're gonna move this guy. Oh, is the clock in the background supposed to be dead? Huh? Is the clock in the background supposed to be dead? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna it already is. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oops, we haven't seen him. That's not in this scene. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Let's do some audio with this. Uh, audio for this. Turn my mic on? Yeah, mic yeah. on, please.
You can see setting up a different angle of the punch, and they're reacting together. So if you need shot to Boom, you see. Both of these actors, Andre and Bruce, are like two of the coolest looking guys ever. Um, Checking his mic. Uh, check, check. Come in close and show how that process is. Can you like take the You can see we're doing a lens swap right here. Marty and Daniel are putting the lens cap on the end, and Daniel's putting the lens on, finding and clicking in. Boop, 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 boop. We switched lens just because we needed a wider lens for the shot because we're too close to the back of the head. It limited by our space in our, our set here. And, uh, but because we can change lenses, we we're able to change uh, how we s view something. <laughs> this has been one pretty long cl clip. But I thought it represented a bunch of it, but uh, in, in the future, our behind the scenes people don't have to record this long. You can see uh, we're going to actually see a punch. And you can see the angle of the punch. There's the reaction. Sophie's in the back being mean and cool and Punch him again. <laughs> I probably wouldn't tell you, but it'd be nice to know why I'm becoming pulp. And and I know my, my poor old mama, dear old Mrs. Joe Hansen, wouldn't like it either. <laughs> Great to know. <laughs> Got it. Do you want to be able to see um, Mar during the in betweens before he's like, or just getting the punches? We're, we're, we're going to cut from other things. Okay. So the cut punch is really the focus. Okay. I'd like to do it one more time, and this time uh, uh, Bruce's head's in focus. Yeah. And, oh. and Marv's out of focus. Okay. 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 Yeah. We can, uh, no, this is great. Um, 
Are you guys feeling good running your lines? Like, is it okay running your lines? Or yeah, we can yeah, we can just helping. cue the, the punches. That's uh, helping. Just okay, let's just run it again one more time. Cool. Because uh, the next shot will be a three shot, so cool. everybody's on and full time. So this is good. Okay. Does that make sense? We're all yeah. on. We're all on right now. Okay, great. Bruce is focusing. Bruce is focusing. Yeah. Roll camera. Uh, uh, roll audio. Speed. Roll camera. We can see the shot from behind the OT. This is kind of an OTS. We see that Bruce is in focus. Sophie's out of focus. Giving us a cool thing. He's going to react. Head's going to come up. Just a cool shot of the back of the head. <laughs> movies are cool. I really like making movies. It's, it's such a fun thing to be on set. And, you know, we spend a good eight hours or so. All five pages out of my brain and all because I was driving into work one day and thought, hey, what if like uh, you used uh, technology to steal someone's password, <laughs> reminder passwords? Also, you know, most notably... I have punching and blood, but I use no guns in this piece. Um, and cut. Moving on. I feel like guns sometimes are a crutch. Uh, and can you write a story without a gun? We have a lot of guns in our... Because, uh, you know, like you introduce a gun and, and you do some shooting that's uh, inherent um, uh, drama put into a piece. So... Totally understand. Uh, we're changing our shots and angles now. The great Kali is the shirt I'm wearing. He's one of a, a wrestler. <laughs> I'm a big uh, WWE fan. We're changing our shot one more time before we wrap Andre. Um, this is the light you just removed. Just a little yep, bit. adjusting the light. Can we turn uh, this intensity up, please? Who's there? Remember, hey, can we have a stand in just for framing? So basically, yeah. everything on the desk here is everything how we. Have Everything's good. Okay. Yes. No, I think this is too much. I think it's more like the flame. behind him the whole time. It was. I, I don't want to change yeah. it now. Yeah. I mean, it's it should be black, be black and, and white, <laughs> but I don't want to change it now. Yeah. We don't need blue. Um, okay. Can I, just for framing, can someone stand and be, well, actually, can you stand and yeah. be where you're going to be? Absolutely. And... Jason is standing in, sitting. We're seeing this angle. 
honestly, I'd love someone else to stand here so I could look at the shot. Uh, Dean, you can knock down my two inch beer. Oh, <laughs> we were all standing in, and then, yeah, I was like, I want to be able to see. Because I'm the, I'm the director. Yeah, I want to see it. Being on set is just such a different uh, and enjoyable experience. You really want to be able to be there. You can see your vision come uh, come. What was interesting right back there, you could see that we had our Marty, of course, is a great AD, and drew most of uh, the shots as a storyboard. So we had them set up. We were referring to the storyboard. And it's a just a storyboard is a really great way to make sure you had plenty of coverage. And the way I shot it is I basically shot the entire full scenes in a wide shot and reaction close ups just so I have coverage uh, for the entire scene. But then there's like very specific things I need. And we're adjusting our light. We're there, you can see there's a um, a globe light right up there, which is a uh, almost like a, a globe. Think of that. And the light shoots into the globe and the, glo the light simulates as if it's overhead uh, light. This is we're adjusting just to get the light out of there but and you can see we have a light that's shooting uh, a shadow on the background which gives us like a moonlight effect it's uh, gonna look really cool in black and white Shout out to everybody who's, who's stuck in the piece. Water bottle. Yes. see the, the storyboard again all right new shot close up on Sophie Set. we wrapped Andre at this point Action. Marty was a great DP and gr you can see Grant right there is now our stand-in for Andre who had to leave Andre did a great job and Grant standing in just to be an eyeline for uh, <laughs> who's your friend here what can I do for you? For Bruce. You know what Marv and I were just talking about? It's just the strangest thing. It's his last name. It's the same as your mom's. <laughs> so you're a Bates too, huh? Your mom's? The one she had before she met your damn dad and made the mistake that is you? Your damn dad. Wait, 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 wait. what's going on? Why, why am I being grilled here? Look. Yeah, why you're is he being trying grilled? Trying to get me to say something. You, you, ought to, you ought to tell that guy what you want before you why is beat he him senseless. Hmm? <laughs> I probably, probably wouldn't tell you, but... It'd be nice to know why I'm being turned into pulp. <laughs> and, and I know my poor mom, dear old Mrs. Johansson, wouldn't like it either. <laughs> Great to know. <coughs> Got it. Cut. Here are the two 
good time, just for safety. Um, yeah. I'm really happy to get that. Can you, like, could there be some flyaways? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go look yeah, just, just take a look. And From here. What can I do for you? Oh. You can see the monitor in the studio is much bigger. We can see our uh, storyboard. Getting it towards the end of the day so people get more tired. Just a cool setup there with like the paintings and the, the lamps and the shadows. All oh. mise en scène. Mise en scène is a French word that me or a French term that means what's in the frame. It's the composition, what's going on. So we're looking not only at composition, we're looking at like background, and you can see the mise en scène of this shot is um, uh, complex. We have uh, the two photos that just make it not a black background. We have the shadow of the blinds behind Sophie. We have Sophie in there, perfectly framed, and. And then we are going to have uh, that lamp that's just a cool texture and light look. All of this is going to look really rad in black and white. I'll do it one more time. Just the, the hair if you want to um, and, and the, uh, the One more time is a common saying, which means do it again. <laughs> Only one more time. JK. One, another one more time. One last time. Also doing low, n low, no budget filmmaking. You're limited with the amount of takes. We're not spending all day. Everybody's volunteering their time and or money. We got Bruce with a cool shot there, and now we're seeing his close up. How tight is this shot? Yeah, he's asking. Because uh, we had his hands tied at first, and now we don't have them tied. All right, now we're at our final scene here, finally. Um, this is actually the beginning of the movie, and we're lighting a cigarette. These are fake cigarettes, of course. We use fake cigarettes, but real smoke makes the whole room smoky and gross. Tastes bad. Just reset means go back to one, which is go back to their um, first setup. We're just going to reset the take without cutting. All right, if you made it this far, congrats, you're, you're a great listener <laughs> and viewer and student. Uh, I do want to say that we're almost done with our behind the scenes. You can keep continue to watch, um, but I do want to say uh, that there is still extra credit opportunity. This is going to come out on a Wednesday, and if you're watching this and you get to the end and it's before 7 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, March 27th, uh, you can go to Cinelux Theater in Morgan Hill and you uh, get an opportunity to get 200 points extra credit. The movie Do Not Disturb is playing in Morgan Hill Cinelux Theaters. It's the last chance to see it. 
Um, if you're watching this now, go and see it. If you didn't see it this weekend, uh, go there, take a picture with your ticket stub of you in the movie theater, take a picture with one of the actors. Grant's supposed to be there. Take a picture with Grant and send it to me, and you you get 200 points of extra credit. That's uh, uh, a 20% uh, no, extra credit opportunity. So... Uh, as always, um, I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes. You can message me for questions or um, critiques if you have any uh, things that you want to know. You can see uh, on set right now, referring to the script, but also we have uh, smoking to deal with. Like we got to reset the cigarette. Um, oh, I think the one. The other thing that I would like to say that if you haven't been on set yet, uh, hopefully you're watching these and you, you're so jealous you want to show up, but uh, we were recording this Friday. Uh, we're recording Braulio's, uh piece, Grief. Um, check out the, the shooting schedule to see what it is. Um, we have classes on campus on Thursdays, and then we almost always shoot on Fridays or Saturdays. And, uh, anybody who takes the class realizes that the, the filming is the most fun part, especially if you want to be a director, if you want to be a, a cinematographer, if you want to be any element. It's being on set and seeing what the life is like because, you know, 8 to 12 hours on set really uh, translate to something uh, that's intangible just by watching a video, you know. I'm cutting down our BTS uh, from, like, eight hours to one hour. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. Again, extra credit. Also put on your calendar April 20th. At uh, April 20th is the S S Gavlin Student Film Showcase uh, in the Gavlin Theater. Ex another Yet another extra credit opportunity. And uh, we're going to be watching this film as well as all of the other films that we've seen BTS is for. And you get extra credit, uh, so put that on your calendar. Also, it's a really great opportunity to see us hand out the Gavi Awards, which is our Oscars, and uh, it, yeah. Barton. Good to meet him. Got it. Okay, cut. Let's do one more. How was the audio on the boom? Was it better than the first take? Huh? Marty, can was you better, follow them a, a little boom? bit? Yeah. Just oh, to the left. Yeah. Do it better that way? Yeah. Way. Okay. Thank you. Just to turn the mic uh, for action. Um, Ow. Uh, <laughs> 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 I want you to be this time. Um, oh, boo, she right says, where's that cat? He's about the corner, right? Yeah. yeah, let's look over here. That's what I meant to write here. Look over, look over, kind of. First time we're I, I get that you're looking in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So look over there. <laughs> and you can look at her again. It's funny as hell because she's going to, uh, you're just like, uh. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Where's the cat? Like, like, completely straight bitch. Look over. Where's the marker? And then you look again before you say That's probably why. Does that make sense for Tia Burst? So, Tia yeah, Burst for the, the head thing. So, she's yeah. going to do something with her hands. Yeah. And then I, and then I wave and her she's going to tap me and go, Oh, I'm going to remind her. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, look over there. I got it. Is it's working now. <laughs> and then she's like, and then she goes over and looks at Martin. And then you look again and look at her. No, it is Barton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know him. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Barton. Okay. Yeah, thank you. for anyone to focus. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, so this is like take here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Vincent Jack. Vincent Jack. Oh, no. Vincent Wait, Vincent how about now? Jack. Now? Yeah. The movie is Jack. Alright, ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the boom is in the shot. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ready, audio? Ready. 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 Ready.